Okay, so in this episode of Gav Details, uh, we're going to discuss the modification that was made to the uh, Ego Lithium Ion Blower. Uh, as you can see here, there is a trigger that no longer works, but aesthetically it's still there. We have a switch on top that is for the turbo, and then we have a switch on the side here, which when you flip forward is power on and uh, the modification that was made still allows your adjustable speed setting uh, to work. For what I'm using it for drying vehicles, uh, you pretty much want it on and with turbo on at all times. So it was a little bit cumbersome to try and hold the trigger and depress the turbo button and then hold an eight pound you know, blower with a you know, two foot uh, tube on the edge of it so uh, as to not uh, knock around the vehicles so it's much easier now to just flip the power on and then the turbo on and then grab it by anywhere the handle here or the stand so uh, to demonstrate we will turn it on So like so. So uh, the first thing that you'll need to do is uh, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to dislodge the battery. So there is a notch here in the back that releases the battery. You're going to need to take off the stand, which it appears that the stand has uh, four Phillips head screws that you'll need to take out. And then there are uh, Phillips head screws in that will separate the two sides of the casing so you have your uh, Phillips head screw holes here. So I'm going to come back once we have the machine apart. Okay so now that we have it apart um, you can see here there is one switch here and then one switch here that's facing outward that is the power button. So there are four screws in the stand and there are ten screws that hold the casing on again Phillips head screws this is the switch for the turbo button and this is the factory switch for the trigger so as you can see here uh, there was a little bit of modifying to the existing switches just so that everything would fit so you pretty much take a Dremel and hollow out the the inner uh, structure or casing so that the switch fits inside again the trigger was left in uh, just for aesthetic so that it looks the part and I don't have you know uh, a void there or a hole and then there was a, a washer put in here with some hot glue just to keep the turbo button uh, stationary in case you accidentally try to push it. So we'll pass it over to Tim to explain the actual uh, wiring and types of switches. Okay, so from an electrical standpoint this isn't really all that difficult. Your trigger wire, the trigger switch is a small red and small black wire. Uh, those are just soldered to these blue and purple wires. They go to this toggle switch up on top. Um, you want a normally open switch so that when you turn it on, it closes the circuit for both of these switches. The turbo button, which is the switch on the side, is slightly different. So there's three wires going to the factory switch. You can see there's a red, a smaller red, and then a brownish colored wire. The two reds are connected together on the circuit board. So those are just joined right in here. I don't know if you can, can you see that? Where I'm pointing there? There's a little red wire. Yeah, you can see and it. And then there's a bigger red wire. It's actually um, the... Okay, we have a, we have a, uh, just a, a, a brief. A correction. A correction. So the brown wire that goes here, that's actually going to the, the power button that's on the side of the machine. Yep. So the power is gonna be the two reds and the brown. The turbo switch is the red and black. So for the power switch, you connect the two reds together. 
and they just go to one of the op normally open terminals on the switch and the other one is the brown wire so that completes that circuit they're all low voltage wires that are controlled by the speed controller so you don't have to worry about amperages or anything like that okay so if you can see on the inside there you have the two red wires that are going towards the back where Tim has the electrical tape and then it's fed forward to this blue wire that is soldered to the switch. So as you can see here the red and black wire in the front here soldered and taped to the blue and green that go to the turbo button on top and if you can see uh, you had to bend the contacts to allow the stock trigger to fit and then Tim's going to explain why one of them was removed. So the switches have three connectors. There's a common, there's a normally open, and there's a normally closed. In this case we're not using the normally closed connector so just so I could fit the switch in there better we just cut that terminal off completely. We're using the normally open and then the common contact. So uh, the switches were purchased on Amazon. They're about $6 each. Uh, they come with this uh, rubber covering. So if you don't want to uh, thread the rubber covering on, it's just a regular metal toggle switch. Uh, one minor detail, uh, perhaps. You obviously are going to have to use a drill bit and drill a hole in the turbo button and drill a hole in the side of the machine in order to uh, put the the switches through but with the protective cover off you can see you have a regular toggle switch and then this threads on so there was a little bit of uh, plastic that needed to be removed in this area here for the uh, power switch to be mounted. Uh, again, nothing was tampered with for the speed control. Uh, everything else pretty much stays intact. Um, this section does kind of just pull out from being inside of this groove here, but um, you don't need to do that. So. Um, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. Uh, I'll make sure that Tim checks them and provides a very technical answer. And uh, yeah, who knows? Maybe one day we'll have uh, some of the subscribers sending me their ego blowers for us to modify for a very inexpensive price. So for a technical and electrical video here on Gav Details. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in modifying your Ego Blower to work better because it does not come with a trigger lock, give it a thumbs up. And for more detailing videos, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks.